I started with weed uh -huh. the very first time. I started uh -huh. with weed. That was a deep one. That was a deep one. Peer pressure from a guy who saw my, my, my soft looks uh -huh. by then. And he decided, uh, you, you, you are a soft guy, you, you can't do this thing. I told him, where, man? Me, Palini, me talk. I'd seen guys doing it, but I'd never done it. So he kept pestering me to the point of, I, I felt he was bullying me. So one day I decided, let's go. We go behind, there was a cricket board. Our school had a cricket uh, pitch. So we went behind the cricket board and I told him later. And so he brought it. Uh, I, I tasted the cigarette butts, you know, the ones that after a guy uses, he throws them down as a kid, eh? and I really choked. And uh, I remember some guy telling me, that one you smoke slowly, slowly, so that doesn't fill your lungs. But weed, you just pull, pull nicely, and then you don't do what? You don't smoke out. You don't, you don't smoke it out. Keep it in. And I really dragged the thing. I know of schools where you, I understand when you join from one, you are assigned to a big brother or something. There was no such thing in my school. So that would have helped. That would have helped. A guy you look for, you look up to, becomes your role model until you clear school. Probably you get yourself somebody who looks at you as a role model and stuff. You know, somehow you'd end up being a, a bit straight in the way you walk. Well, well, had, had mom noticed a few changes in my character, because what would happen is I, I started taking less and less care of myself. I would not comb my hair. You know, by then reggae was big, eh? So everyone wants to look, you know, wearing those bangles and stuff, missing showers. It's a boy thing, but a week is another thing, eh, altogether. So there are a few things you would have noticed. You'd have noticed that I, I, I would, I would uh, light up the this smelly fragrance, Indian things. I'd light it in my room and she'd ask me, I'd tell her I like it that way. Kumbe, I'm trying to mask the smell of weed. But then after that, I, I think I joined the rugby team around that time. So this kept me busy. And somehow I stopped these things. So, but I kept the occasional cigarette, yeah? But come end of fourth form, and uh, there's that whole year, I don't know whether it's the same nowadays, there was a year or two that you stay outside. Now, that's when you're introduced to big things. Yeah, because now you have freedom to do what you want. O of course, you, when you go back to the house, it's a different thing. But your mom understands now that you're an adult and stuff. She goes to work and stuff. I was introduced to something called toivo. It's a fruit wine. Toivo, it's a fruit wine. Yeah, made from uh, pineapples and oranges. I, I later learned how they were made and man, it was bad stuff. They'd have to sieve out and leave the worms up there. But you don't mind, you need a high, you need a high. So I used to take that a lot until I joined a rugby team out there. And now with the rugby team, now you have to style up, you know because they are the ladies to impress and such stuff. So I started taking beer. So we do a lot of beer overnight and stuff, after games, after training sessions. We'd have a lot of beer going around. Guys, all the older students who had left would still have some attachment to, 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 to the team and they'd buy you crates of beer, I mean machine, yes. So they'd buy you crates and crates of beer. So as I continued taking this, around 1993, Indian drink started making its way in, into the country. Now they were cheap. The only reason we never used to take whiskey, Kina Smanov, Kina Joni Wakanini, was that they were beyond our budget. Yeah, but now there's a drink for 150, 200 bob, a whole bottle. Now we started mixing. The first advice I'd give that guy is stop stop right there because that's the beginning of the end the moment you start with all that time that you have with all that peer pressure peer pressure goes on until probably 80 90. with all that peer pressure you're bound to fall one for the student 
it, it's just you want to impress. You see, you want to impress guys. You know when you take a bit of alcohol, when it starts uh, altering your mind, you have this ability to speak and speak well, which means confidence levels are high. You know, so it's just about impressing people out there. Yeah, you don't need to impress anyone when your mind is altered. People want to see the real you. They want to relate to the real you. Because now, you know, when you stop drinking or somehow you don't have money to drink, you are a wreck, man. Nobody even wants to talk to you. For parents, monitor your child. It's your child until the day you leave this world. Monitor that child. Looking back to why I started drinking, some stuff were going on in the house, yeah? Uh, some, some commotions here and there. And I found alcohol to be... I, I found uh, my mood and mind-altering things to be a place for escape. Now, if, if your house is going to be a place where a child wants to seek refuge elsewhere, you already lost the child. There's hope. It's all about hope. There is hope. Falling... The Bible itself says a righteous man falls seven times. So those of you who don't feel they are righteous enough, imagine the number of times you fall. But you need to get up. So they should come back to church. Come back to church, man. Forget about guys talking about it. It's about you and God. Yeah, yeah church is just there to support you. If it's not supporting you, the Lord himself. Yes. Come to church. Yeah. Walk in and ask this question. Do you have a program that supports people who are struggling? Do you have people, men and women, who you know, who've gone through this thing? I'd like to talk to one of them. Open your arms to them. Welcome them. Let them come. This is where they belong. They don't belong in bars out there. They don't belong in places where they are being ridiculed because of what they have become. They need a place, and the place is church, where they can become people of substance in society.